on more land than Rick Ross got land, bro. And he got more land than land can have land. You feel me? Than a man can have land. You know what I'm saying? What's good, YouTube? It's your boy Dante So Rare. I am back with another video, and I ain't gonna stop until my kids' kids get a hundred M's, and I ain't gonna stop until I change lives in the world for real. Yeah, let's get into this video. So apparently, Shaq spun 500K on the pond. Man, that is my dream, bro. That is my goal, and one of my goals in life, bro, to have a pond on my big old piece of estate. Man, you know what I'm saying? I want more. I want more land than Rick Ross got land, bro. And he got more land than land can have land. You feel me? Than a man can have land. You know what I'm saying? So let's get into this video. Let's see what Shaq talking about. And y'all already know Shaq got them M's. We ain't even got a pocket watch. He look like a pocket, bro. You know what I'm saying? A full one, too. Your new Aquascape Ecosystem Recreation Pond. Nikoi O'Neal. Yes. <laughs> All the way from Nagata, Japan. Yes. <laughs> <laughs> from life. That's fine. This pond guy is a bad mother. <laughs> hey. If any, hey, if anybody is a role model, a person that you, I mean, a role model, a person to be that I'm inspired by is definitely Shaq, bro. He played basketball. He did. He he did his career like, and it's now he to the point to where he doing stuff for other people now. Like he 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 reached that point. I can't wait to get to that point. That's fine. Hey, good morning, everybody. Ed the Palm Professor here. I am at the man's house, one and only Shaquille O'Neal. This is the final push of this incredible project. Hopefully, you have followed along yeah. on the prep. I'm gonna have to go check the other stuff out. In. All that incredible rock work, but now it's down to the details. We have to go above and beyond. Shaq is gonna be home within a few days. He is wrapping up NBA Finals as we speak, so we wanna make sure this project is over the top, and it all comes down to that little stuff that makes all the difference in the world. Hmm. Man, look at that, bro. So beautiful, man. Like, bro, this all this 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 what we do. This what I'm doing it for. You know what I'm saying? Life change. You want stuff like this? Get. Yeah, I want to get so much. I want to get so much land to a like. If my fam wanted to be on the land. They can just be on it. We can just all be the, but like it'll be so big that we wouldn't even, we would walk outside. We wouldn't even see each other's house, bro. Like it'll be that big, but like we we got our own little island, man. This this right here is beautiful, man. Make you cry. Remember, as kids, man, toys and games make you cry, but once you get to that adult stage, this right here. Make you cry. This is what started it all. We came in three years ago with an army of people, completely transformed this property right in front of Pete the Treehouse Masters. Man, it's crazy. House. We did an amazing koi pond. Shaq loved it so oh, much. Oh, that's too fire. I love the koi The problem fish. is he wanted to do a large pond, so they thought that they could just dig out a hole, get down to groundwater, and allow it to fill up naturally. Didn't work out like that. So unfortunately, nature took hold, only filled up the pond to a certain level. The rest of the time, the water just seeped into the surrounding soil Kenny contacted us said Shaq wants this thing fixed so what we did was we came in we drained all that stuff out put in that massive under drain system now we're right in the middle of completely finishing off that pond coming in with hundreds of tons of boulders and river rock wetland filtration systems imagine having a type of money that you can do whatever you want to do when you wake up bro custom intake systems so as crazy. well as a massive waterfall that's going to be seen all around this property. Shaq is a fish lover. The Japanese have it dialed in. They have the best koi Ooh. on the entire planet. So we found an amazing fish. It is massive and it is worthy of the name Shaq Coil O'Neal. So how we are bringing in this really massive is. koi as a gift. Cherry on Ooh, top. Crazy. It's an amazing creation. Hard work. I'm standing on the edge of an amazing basketball court, sport court system designed and built by the team at Court Dreams. The reason I'm over here not only showing off this incredible work of art. Oh, it's crazy. Court Dreams, bro. 
That's fine. Man, I get some land, bro. I'm hitting up people, bro. I'm hitting up him for the pun. You feel me? I'm going to be like, bro, I was literally watching you do Shaq Pond, bro. Like, you feel me? Yeah, bro. But we are working side by side with Jay to create a series of putting greens and chipping greens that are integrated all around that incredible water feature, which is really going to transform this property, take the project over the top. So we have I'm going to speed it up, y'all, because I don't want to miss what he's saying, but I know, you know what I'm saying? Hold on. I'm going to speed it up, though. I just don't, you know what I'm saying? have only two days left until Shaq is back and you can see from the flurry of activity right behind me that we are here to make this happen so we have teams coming in from around the world all of them bringing in their specialized skills to help us complete this we have the team from Australia which is working on the beach and we have another team from British Columbia they're working on edge details and dropping in the final boulders the other team at the far other end is starting to work on that waterfall and they're out of Arizona as well as New Hampshire and I tell you what everybody is dialed in and ready to go because now the clock is ticking we have a water truck showing up any minute we're trying to get aquatic plants in place Fire. before the water level starts to rise up also wash everything down start testing our pumping system get everything ready for the team at court dreams to wrap up all the other details of the edges it is a flurry of activity right now and it's going to keep ramping up for the next two days oh check out those guys there's a the man steve Stroop came through once again man we got some awesome plans to respond dude they're like two years old already wow multiple crowns multiple flowers and we just shipped them up into west west carolina oh nice. about six weeks if the koi leave them alone greg promised me the koi i'm not gonna bother them <laughs> we will see we're, we're crossing our fingers Ed. <laughs> all right now this is how a water really should look look at the size of these leaves flowers wow and look at the size of the pot that they're in probably make over 100 pounds of soil fertilizer and lily nice <laughs> Well, everyone, it is start of day four. Waterfalls are 90% done. We have just a small amount of rock work to do up our top pooling area to allow all the four three-inch plumbing lines that are going to be discharging up into this waterfall. They're going to be powering this waterfall here. And then the guys over here, we have our right now. You can see Jason right now is gluing all our couplings to our three-inch lines, and we're running those three-inch lines all the way where the machine's at right now. So we're going to be getting 25,000 to 28,000 GPH of flow all the way at the top, which is going to give us the necessary aesthetic effect. So Shaq could see that waterfall all the way from the front of the That's house. That's crazy. All through very, very carefully, locating the intake bay where it's at, having the associated beach area. All that flow is going to come into this one area. Big open body of water in between, and then it's going to recirculate everything to the top. All these little pieces are happening at once, as well as the guys from Court Dreams just arrived. They're going to start working on the green which is in between the wetland filter and the intake base so we have That's to work double time right now get the pipes in place they could bury it then they could start coming in with all of their crust stone create and sculpt and make all that beautiful putting green and chipping greens for shack to truly enjoy this amazing all right so back at shack's house and i wanted to give you an update so it rained really hard it's all over here coming off from the house over there it's just coming right in and it's going right in the beach this thing is still overflowing out of the overflow pipe right there and it stopped raining yesterday so the water level right now is extremely extremely hot man so it's crazy in, bro mud city all this on this side yeah, it looks like a lot of it came from beautiful, right here. beautiful 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 Look at that, man. Welcome home. <laughs> I think that's good. I, 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 I don't know. All right, now we can put this mug back to regular speed. You know, we got Shaq on the scene. Oh, he looks a little shell shocked right now. <laughs> I was on vacation and Derek called me and said it's an emergency. <laughs> good, man. How are you? What the hell is this? Well, it's your new Aquascape Ecosystem Recreation Pond. We fixed the problem, put a liner in, and a million pounds of rock moved in five days. This is a great surprise. No, they kept calling me, like, we need you to come on. I was like, I can't, I got an important meeting. Like, we need you to come on. So, this is great. Oh, well, come on, let's show <laughs> you. <laughs> Good, buddy. Give me a hug, man. Yeah. You know, it looks like you lost some weight there, Diesel. Yeah, I've been working on it. Moved the whole pond? We removed, completely removed it because it was full of muck. We reshaped everything because we wanted to give this thing some twists and turns That's and curves. That's so fire. Even though the water's dirty right now, we have a massive filter system in here. It'll look like that other one in a week or two. Right here. Yeah, so this is all the new grass, see, that just got planted yesterday. Took us 10 days. Yeah, I was wondering how that water was going to get clean. I mean, that's crazy. We came in with this army of people yeah. <laughs> to oh, make it all people. happen. Is that a putt-putt golf course? Yes, yes it is. A, is that, that's that a putt-putt put golf course? Yeah. Oh. Jay from Court Dreams came in with his team and put in chipping green and two putt-putts. I got a question. Yeah. 
I'm gonna get some koi fish in here. We're gonna get a special koi fish, and then we got Buster Posey's, you know, the catcher for the yes. Giants. We got yes. his koi fish that we're gonna put in here too. It's a little dirty from all the rain, but once it clears up, you're gonna be able to see crystal clear water. So my lake was here. Yes. <laughs> and you added all this stuff. All this is brand new. This in is ten days. In ten days. ten days, we had thirty That's certified crazy fast, contractors. Bro. This pond guy is a bad mother. Hey, money talk, bro. Money talk. Remember the last lake had a leak. Did you fix that? We pulled all the old mud and muck out. <laughs> we put in a rubber membrane. So now it's not going to leak because now we have a giant sheet of rubber liner that is 130 feet by 110 feet wide holding all the water in place. There's no way the water can get out of here. Will the water evaporate? It will a little bit. It has a little inches, bit of inches, uh, it's not got a little bounce. But what we did was we regraded everything. We put down all this hydro seed right. and we're capturing the water from the lawn. It's going to come back into the pond. So when it rains, we're going to get some of that runoff coming That's in here. Crazy. Is that a beach I see over there? <laughs> yeah. Yes, Bob, how are you? Oh, thank you. What's Please. your name? Nice to meet you, Miss Riley. You doing good in school? Yes, good, good, good. You guys give me a putting green? <laughs> well, Jay, oh, court no, Jay, what's up? Before we, you got one more of these? I do. We'll start at the south, <laughs> get it in, and then drop down and hit the ball. Oh, I see it. Big shot. All right, nice. me versus you. Come on. All right, okay. me versus you. All right, get the ball. First one through the chips. $20. $20. Man, that's so crazy, bro. This is what this is about, though, bro. Grinding so hard to where you get to wake up and do what you want and what you love and step outside and just have fun with your family, have fun with good people, bro. This is what it's all about. All the negative, man, all that stuff, man. We ain't got time for all that, bro. Because we just don't got time for it. Ah. Uh. That's fire. You know the beach? That's a beach with, gators? with your gators on there to help load them in. <laughs> no, those aren't real oh, gators. Oh, man, I'm about to say, oh, those are real gators. Now, you know what those things are called? The what lily pads. Of, lily pads. You have pro, oh. Detective Erica lily pads that are going to grow big here. So this thing is filled. Man, lily pads, man. I love everything about nature as well, y'all, man. Like, bro, I'm trying to tell y'all, bro. What inspired me as far as acres and animals and everything from the start is, was Michael Jackson, bro. His um, Neverland, bro. But just seeing a peek of it in the uh, American Dream movie, just seeing him have animals, but you knew he had them in real life was so crazy to me, bro. Like, I'm like, dang, bro, this dude got animals. See, I was going there for my, for me because of the fact that having kids, I got a son, bro. He going to have cousins, you know what I'm saying, family. It's just for the family to feel that, bro, and be inspired. Just let you know, like, Man, you can do whatever you want to do. You just got to grind. You just got to be consistent, bro. Consistent literally is the key. You know what I'm saying? Just being consistent in whatever you want to do with your life, you're going to really make it, bro. With 500 aquatic plants, which will help clear it out, and your own beach area to walk in and wade in here, probably up to your knees. Yeah, it was a labor so of is love. It, is it the same amount of water as last time or more? How many gallons do you think this is, Ed? This is over 100,000 gallons of water. So mm -hmm. Over a hundred thousand gallons of water. So you're out of town and the water gets low. How many trucks would, would that take to uh, fill up? If it was totally, totally drained, yeah. there'd be 20 semi trucks of water. <laughs> <laughs> it won't happen. This was worth the trip to come home for. Hey, I think that's nah, the that's ultimate fine. compliment. How about a hand for Shaquille O'Neal, everybody? Can we put the fish in this pond? I don't think we should put them in this week, maybe next week or the week after when the water clears up. So we went to Buster Posey's house. He's moving to San Francisco and we right. brought his fish back for your pond. Got it. All the way from Japan for you. From Fitz's Fish Ponds. Shakoi O'Neal. <laughs> yes. All the way from Nagata, <laughs> Japan. Yes. We have a 39 inch Yamabuki, which is the largest koi that I have personally ever seen. That no lie, if you was having another child, bro, or something like that, bro. 
That's a fire name, bro. He liked the fish. He can name his son Shakoy. Man, that'll be fire. It's gonna eventually go down in that pond when it's oh. clear, but we wanted to show it to you for this one. So let's check this out. Jesus. Oh. <laughs> Dang it. I'm gonna name this fish Charles Barkley. <laughs> <laughs> Yamabuki from Fitz's Fish Ponds and Tim Waddington from KoiTrips.com. Thank you, KoiTrips.com. Appreciate you. Man, Man I wonder how yep. much they They're sell it for. We shipped it from we Japan, it. We, and they we drove it down it. from New Jersey. Brian Fitzsimmons from Fitz's Fish Pond. Thank you for driving this from New Jersey. <laughs> Let's let it go on this pond. <laughs> Man, that's a big Dude, fish. That is a beast. Dissolve the oxygen, and they give them a set. There it goes. Look at that. That is a monster. Beautiful, bro. So beautiful. That beautiful? Look at that, y'all. Y'all, bro, y'all look at that. Don't look at me. Look at that. There is absolutely when the egg gonna going to come on up, so. Romantically. Now y'all can look at me. Can I buy you a drink? Look at that cord, man. Gods! I get these big old fish from. When they get to this big, it's, it's genetics. Right. You cannot get a domestic koi to more than 30 inches. And the biggest ones in here is about 30 inches. The Yamabuki that Fitzwater Ponds brought over, that's 39 inches. And that's that's a Shaquille O'Neal fish. AKA but, the Charles Barkley fish. Yeah. <laughs> How many different species of the koi fish do they have? I think there's 26 main varieties. And then just like with dogs and anything else, there's many other derivatives right. of that. But what you're looking for Man, when look you look for a koi fish beautiful. is you're looking look for, you know, these are just carp. These right. are the same fish that oh, live oh, in the rivers. Oh, okay. But they're bred. They're bred for their colors. So you're looking for bright colors. You're looking for pleasing patterns. It's kind of like the difference between a purebred dog and a mutt. These are definitely Japanese koi from Japan. So all these fish, yep. these are basically genetic mutations of fish. So what they started doing a couple hundred years ago is they were growing these fish for food originally in the rice right. paddies. And then all of a sudden they'd get like a weird marking. What them were like a betel fish. Hey, one. Is, is, is betas like kind of like a type of koi? and then they would crossbreed it with another one and they started getting all of these crazy patterns. Man, that's so crazy fire though, bro. I ain't gonna lie. Uh, I appreciate it. This is, this is awesome. We tried to do it on our own and as you saw, we messed it up. And when Derek reached out to you to come fix the problem, you, you stopped what you were doing. And I appreciate that. I really consider you a friend. Never asked me for anything. That's that's big in, in my book, but you got me for life now. This is, this is awesome. You wow. brought me a koi fish from Japan. <laughs> you know, when I came out here, I've always wanted a luxurious looking property. And I bought it because it had the 30 acres and you made it fresh with the... Think about that, bro. This, this 30 acres, bro. This tells you you can do so much with 30 acres, bro. Boosie got 40, and I think Rick Ross got 253 acres, bro. 40, even, 30 is even enough. You know what I'm saying, bro? Man. First pond, but this right here, I think this is just going to raise the value. And you get that, the, man. You know, the little putt putt thing, I can come out here. <laughs> Wait, is the land 40 or just what a pond that is? Y'all let me know. He bought me some fake alligators I thought were real. Yeah, this, is, this, this is definitely worth coming home for. Amen. When I turned the corner, I was like, what the hell is all that green stuff? <laughs> and I was getting ready to be mad, but I saw my good friend Greg. This is the certified oxycontin that maintains yeah, yeah, your yeah, property. Yeah. And Shaq, this is what it's all about for us. Helping people live the aquascape lifestyle. We took an eyesore, which was a, a retention pond that didn't hold water, and we built it into a beautiful aquascape ecosystem pond with the help of certified aquascape counters from all over the world. And now we got you for 2.0, living the aquascape lifestyle. I appreciate you, thank you. Look at that. That's what's oh, up. Uh, here we go. Sure we got this shirt for you. Man, they got him a shirt. 5XL, but oh, it looks like might be a four. I don't man, know. Man, he can go hoop with that on his court, man. That's too fire. No. No, two. Okay. <laughs> oh. <laughs> Thank you, guys. I love my job. <laughs> oh. A1 vid. $10 10 vid. Shout out. Shout out. Let me see. Ed the Pond Professor, man. I'm going to need you in the future, man. Come hook me up. You feel me? Come hook me up, man. I got good... 50 plus acres, man. We need it. The family need it, man. You feel what I'm saying? It's your boy, Dante Sora, man. I'm out.